Good afternoon, Loveland High School. Today is Friday, December 4th. I'm Santiago. I'm Gavin. And these are your announcements. Picture retakes are in. If you had your pictures taken or retaken on November 9th, please stop by the main office to pick yours up. The LHS Red Cross Club is a new club that will partake in mission-related activities along the central and southern Ohio region of the American Red Cross. Hang out with friends all day while learning to become a volunteer for the Red Cross and deliver the life-saving services. The first informational meeting will be virtual on Wednesday, December 16th at 2 o'clock p.m. Please email Kendall Visco at 21 v-i-s-c-k-e at students.lovelandschools.org if interested. Attention seniors, senior photos are due today. If you have not already, make sure to submit your photos through Justin's through the link in the Aubrey announcements. Please note that cap and gown orders placed after December 7th will be subjected to expedited shipping charges. Orders for graduation products including caps and gowns can be placed online. For more details, look at the information in the Aubre. In case you didn't see Wednesday's episode, we were all tasked with creating a feature story about something going on in our school or community. On today's episode, we are presenting Ryan Griswold's feature story. Chuck Smith was a long, 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 long time uh, Loveland um, administrator, coach, sub, um, just the nicest guy you're ever going to meet, really good role model for lots of people around here, and just super dedicated um, to education, Loveland especially. My history with Mr. Schmidt goes back to 1993. Um, I was just a, a first year teacher, and I was part of uh, the basketball coaching staff here at the high school. Mr. Schmidt was an assistant coach with the varsity. And without question, he left uh, an impression on me day one. Uh, very easy to see that he was a person of high character. Um, he put his family first. He was a God-fearing man. Uh, he cared deeply about the students here in this building. And he would do anything for anybody uh, if, it, if so called upon. Um, from his memory, uh, he passed away a few years ago. I, I, I still have his whistle. Uh, that he used to use during practice. He always gave students the lecture, a love life lecture, and used all of his quotes that you see around the building. Um, and then we have started a scholarship for him, and we've been doing this since uh, 2008. So 2008, a group of teachers got together um, actually to do something fun among the, st among the staff, and we had a tacky sweater event. Everyone, people would donate, um, staff and teachers and sometimes students. And we started out with just like a $500 book scholarships, just a little something. And then it kind of grew to we gave uh, bigger scholarships in Chuck's honor. I also want to, you know, all of you probably have a, a grandfather or a neighbor or someone older, a gentleman that you just love and adore. And that's how I think we all feel about Chuck Schmidt. And so we're happy to keep this um, scholarship going in his memory. You have to write a essay that talks about how his six ways of living affect your life. And then you also need to do a um, letter of reference from this uh, staff member here at the school. And the deadline for it is February 26th. Athletics. <laughs> Anyone interested in being on the boys track and field team this coming spring should attend a meeting after school today from 1.40 to 2 o'clock p.m. in the LHS auditorium. Coach Benassi will be going over work schedule and answer any questions. Those who cannot be there in person, please attend through Google Meet. The Google Meet link is in the Aubrey announcements. Congratulations to girls basketball for their win against Winton Woods. Good luck to boys basketball with their game against West Claremont tonight. Go Tigers! Yeah! That's, That's all, all we have, have for you today, today Loveland High School. School. I'm Santiago. I'm Gavin. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your Friday. They always just, say good vibes only. Just live. Yeah.